very different from the other. Um, so, you know, how, you know, these are things that, you know, we, we rarely get to sort of talk about because we're so focused on like this, you know, the, the grand spectacle of it all, but um, like the props, the, the, the sets, the world building, could you talk about for you guys as actors, what it's like to step onto those and, and have that help your performance and help you sort of believe that you have these, these incredible powers or these incredible abilities, um, you know, and, and, and sell that story. Lizzie, why don't you go first? Oh, I was just thinking about um, how important my wigs are to me when you just told me this. <laughs> um, I really, well, I think my, the wigs that I put on, um, whether it was for the 50s or the 70s or Scarlet Witch wig, you have like 14 wigs. Um, <laughs> it, it totally, it totally puts me in a, a funny mood and I love it. And it's something that once I'm out of that chair, I'm like, I feel like I have my invisible cape on <laughs> like, and like I'm gone. And I don't mean it in any kind of um, like a methody way. Just it really, it really makes me feel like for the fifties, you know, you just everything, you just want to walk different. You want to talk different. Um, we were, we all felt that way in the hair and makeup trailer all the time for doing our stupid vocal warmups to get our voices to have the right inflection for these time periods. And, and so then, so, so yes, there's that part of the world building. And then with, with specifically with WandaVision, it was kind of incredible to watch our production design team create this, this, this nuclear home that shifted based on whatever reference we were, we were point, we were, um, you know, giving an homage to and whether it was the,